Hi everyone, welcome to a work in progress. I'm Joanne. Welcome to my midweek mini thrift haul. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you just a little bit of things that I picked up while thrifting, and I'm also going to answer 19 questions to help you get to know me a little bit better. I was tagged by D over at a Thrill of the Thrift to share these answers with you, so you can maybe learn a little bit more about me. And then I'm going to tag someone at the end of this video, and she probably already knows who she is. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing I want to show you is something that I have forgotten to show you for about two weeks now, and I love it. So I don't know where my brain was at. Just a sec. It's this wall hanging. Well, I'm going to use it as a wall hanging. Look at the gorgeous graphics on this. The pumpkin and the birds and all. I just fell in love with this. I bought it at Goodwill, and we're, there's the price on the back, oh, $3.49. Now, I did have to replace these hooks here, and some of the paint has already come off of it, so I just have to touch that up a little bit. Not a big deal, but I love this piece. I was a little leery to get it because I was thinking $3.49 was a little too much, but it's a good size piece and I like it. So there you have it. Oh, don't forget, at the end of the video, make sure that you leave in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's video. And I'll let you know what mine is as well. Uh, this I actually found in a bag. I had completely forgotten that I got it. It's this Star Wars mug. It's in great condition. I mean, it's in perfect condition. Upside down here. See, I remember my glasses again this time. I'm getting good. Uh, this is from Lucasfilm Limited. Uh, it was uh, made in China. There's, I don't see a date on it, so I'm not sure when this was produced, but um, this is going to be for resale. I just thought it was a really great piece and in such perfect condition for a Star Wars fan. And then, let me see. Oh, another two pieces, the count is one, I picked up from Goodwill are these bronze bookends. And I think they're just beautiful. And bronze seems to do pretty well in resale. And this is from Anne's Lantern on the back there. And the other one is identical. And they have the red felt on the bottom. Uh, $2.98 a piece I paid, and I'm either going to have to get this marker off of here or replace the felts, but either way, they're heavy pieces, so whoever wants them is going to pay a good bit for shipping on them, but I think they're going to be worth it. And let's see, scoot that over there. Then I also went to a Habitat Restore. This was out in their free box. It feels like if not a full can of WD-40, it's pretty close to it. So if I can pick up WD-40 for free, I'm all over it. I picked up that. And then some useful items. Uh, bought this. I'm changing out all the... I've done it here in North Carolina. I've changed out all of the hardware and the hinges and everything to black or oil rub bronze. So I picked that up for the house down in Florida because I thought 50 cents was a pretty good deal. And then I had to replace, or have to replace, like I said, just a useful item, the little door stopper thing so your door doesn't go slamming into your wall when you open it. Um, because the, my last group of foster kittens just destroyed the other one that I had. I forget what they charged me for this. It was 50 cents a dollar, I'm not sure. And then they had a big cart, and everything on the cart was a dollar. So I picked up, okay, toilet flanges, the little flappers, because they're always going bad, and three of them for a dollar was a great deal. Um, now there was an older woman in front of me in the checkout, and she saw me getting them and said she had had this water leak, and she needed to replace the flapper, but she didn't have one, and I mean, it was just terrible what happened to her home. The toilet overflowed, and it... It just ruined um, the bathroom as well as went through 
Um, so I don't know how long the thing was running, but she needed a flapper, so I gave her one because I mean, I mean a dollar fifty cents a piece for these flappers. That's still pretty good, and she needed one. So um, also at the oh, I'm sorry. This I got at Dorcas. I'm sorry. Um, I thought I got this at Habitat, but this is actually from Dorcas. They are a thrift store out in Cary, North Carolina, and it is. It says gather, and then it's a lighted sign, battery-operated lighted sign. So I thought that would look really pretty on my uh, hutch that I'm going to decorate. The one that I did for Halloween, I'm going to decorate that for kind of fall Thanksgiving, too. So it's a pretty good deal on that. And then, <laughs> are you ready for this? Because I was floored what I found Two of the pieces that I'm going to show you. First, let me show you this little guy, and then I'll show you the ones that just knocked my socks off. This absolutely adorable little kitty cat. So he was 49 cents. I'm not sure if he's for sugar or what he is for, but I thought he was adorable, and I need your help. This, oh... C-I, if you can make out that marking on the bottom of, on his little belly. If anybody knows what that is too, if you could let me know. I've been Googling the heck out of it and I can't find it. Eyeglasses keep pocket popping up. So if you could let me know in the comment section down below what that stands for, I would really appreciate it. So, But I thought he was just adorable. Now these are the two other pieces that knocked my socks off. I found another vintage Christmas bug. This one is a kitty cat. He's so, so cute. I mean, no, they came in kitty cats. So, of course, he's got the fabulous, he's losing some of his paint there. And let me see what it says on the bottom. It's made in Taiwan. Celebrate the season. Yep, yeah, made in Taiwan is what it says on the bottom. I paid a dollar. Whoops, sorry about that. Paid a dollar seventy-five for him. I adore him. Oh my goodness. So he's gonna go with my now ever growing collection of what was Santa mugs, now I have a kitty cat. And then almost fell over. In the box for $3.99 was a Santa ceramic pitcher. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? He is so beautiful. I have to obviously I have to clean him up a little bit, but he's so gorgeous. And let me see. There's nothing on there, but he the box does say that he was made in Taiwan and it does the the picture on the box does match the picture. So this little guy was made in Taiwan. I, I don't see any paint loss on him at all. He has this little area right here on the back, but that's not a nick. It was It's nice and smooth and painted, so that was done in manufacture. But I was so excited when I saw him. I, I, I'm just, I love him. Absolutely love him. So that, I think, yep, that's my mini, midweek mini for you. So, my favorite find, <clears throat> well, it's between two things. It's between this wall hanging, which I love, and then, oh gosh, okay, then I have a second tie between the kitty and the Santa. I was so excited to find those. So now it's your turn. In the comment section down below, let everybody know what your favorite find was from this week. And let me finish up the video in response to the 19 questions so you can get to know me a little bit better. I'm going to link Dee's channel down below, Thrill of the Thrift. So you have to, you probably know her, have to go check her out. And then when I'm finished, I'll tell you who I'm tagging. So, uh, what does my channel name mean? A work in progress. That's me. <laughs> Everything about me is a work in progress. You know, my life, my house, 
my daughter. It's all a work in progress. So I thought my channel is going to be a work in progress. So that's where the title came from. Where was I born? Um, I was born in Frankfurt, Germany. My dad was in the military. He was in the army. Uh, so I was born in Frankfurt, Germany. We lived also in Stuttgart for a little while. Um, I grew up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, moved from Scranton down to Miami, Florida, where I lived for 10 years until Hurricane Andrew took my house from me. And I moved to Fort Lauderdale for about a year or so, back to Miami, and then here to North Carolina in Raleigh, which is where I reside now. Oh, I just answered <laughs> number three. Where are you now? Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, four, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite sex? I can only guess it would have been Joseph uh, because I was actually named after my Uncle Joe, Joanne. So, uh, th but that's a guess uh, they never said and I never asked, but that's why I would say uh, Joseph. Uh, what is my eye color? My eyes are green. Uh, everybody in my family has or has had uh, green eyes with the exception of my mom. My mom had brown eyes. What is my favorite candle scent? Well, I don't really burn candles because of my kitty cats, um, but as far as like an essential oil would go, anything um, spicy. I love a spicy kind of scent, so. Uh, can I cook? Yes, I can cook, but I usually choose not to, but I can eat really well. What is my sign? I'm a Gemini, uh, through and through, I am a Gemini. What scares you the most about getting old? Um, being alone is the thing that scares me most about being alone. Uh, I have have not been in a relationship in many, many, many years. Um, that's by my choice, but that's what scares me about being, about growing old. Not dying, that doesn't scare me at all. Uh, what is the last thing I bought? Okay, last thing I bought was groceries at Aldi, and it was a variety of things. My favorite holiday, Christmas, without a doubt. I love, love Christmas. I love the feeling that Christmas gives to people, but the saddest part about it is it doesn't last throughout the rest of the year. If it could, man, that would truly be magical. Ooh, what is my guilty pleasure? Okay, I have two. <laughs> I love uh, Whole Foods has a chocolate chip cookie because I'm vegan. These cookies are vegan. The first time I had them, I kept looking at the box looking for some non-vegan ingredient because they were to die for cookies. And I sadly have literally made myself sick on these cookies because I've eaten so many and they're so good. My second guilty pleasure is a vegan ice cream from Trader Joe's and it's... Uh, cherry chocolate chip and that's another one I can make myself sick on so good what show do you binge watch Ugh, I don't binge watch any show well no that's not true I will sit and watch uh, SVU I'll sit and watch that literally for hours even if I've seen the episode before so I will binge watch that what item do you never leave the house without my phone because my phone has a case that also has my uh, driver's license in it and a credit card so i never leave home without that my evening person or a morning person definitely an evening person what is my favorite movie genre horror films <laughs> i don't like the slasher kind when people get all cut up with you know knives and machetes and stuff like that. I don't like those. I like to be scared. Those are my favorite kind of movies. What is good in my life right now? Oh, past couple of months have been really, really tough. What's good right now is that I have an amazing daughter. I have amazing, thoughtful, caring friends who, who support me and look after me. Uh, I, I have a job, I have a house, I have a roof over my head, shoes on my feet. So right now, 
things are going pretty good and I am very grateful for it. Okay, am I an introvert or an extrovert? It depends on the situation. Uh, I'll talk to anybody out and about when I'm thrifting or at the grocery store. I'll talk to anybody. But put me in a party or a, a public social situation where I don't know the people and I am extremely uncomfortable. I will rarely go up to a group of people and, you know, kind of introduce myself into the group and start a conversation with them. So it just depends on the situation. And then 19, what is my biggest accomplishment? Uh, my daughter, she, she, my daughter is adopted and I say that, and I, I truly mean this, God put us together. She is the most amazing person that I know. She is smart and beautiful and caring and she always wants to find the good in people. She didn't get that from me. <laughs> She got it from someplace else. So my daughter is my biggest accomplishment and the thing that I am most, most proud of. Okay, so um, you probably already know who I'm going to tag. And yes, Tina, you are it from A Country Girl's Attic. So I will uh, link Tina's channel in the description box down below as well. You guys have got to go check out Tina if you haven't already, and plus you get to learn more about her when she answers these 19 questions. And I'll also leave the 19 questions down in the description box as well, so it will be easier to answer them for you, Tina. So everybody, that is my midweek mini and my 19 questions so you learn more about me video. <laughs> that is it. And everyone, uh, until my next video, as always, Please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now.